All right, I have got a plan for this truck. Well, this truck's been doing been doing this for a while, but let me explain everything. I've got something that's going to go on the back of this truck, and I need to get this hay end roller off of this truck. That's the first project problem I got got a first obstacle I have to endure here. It's supposed to be simple. I've got it bolted down with four bolts. One here, one here, I done got it out, and two on, up at the front. And when I put this on here, I welded the nuts on the back sides of these to the bed so you could just zip them out with an air gun. And uh, it's just got tractor quick couplers right here. The truck has hydraulics on it. And you just unplug it and you could pick it up with a forklift or a skid steer, forks on a skid steer or whatever and uh you can take this hay end roller and set it out of the way well the it's been on here for about four years and i hadn't took it off and where i drive this truck in the salt all the time delivering firewood uh the bolts of course have rusted and when i tried to turn them it broke the welds on the back two the front ones came out the back two uh, the broke the welds broke so I'm re-welding it, and once the, the heat from the welder gets through that nut on, on the uh, bolt, it's letting the nut come out, or, or it's letting the bolt come out. That's what happened over here. The bolt come out pretty easy after I welded, on, welded it back to the bed. So that's what I'm doing right at the moment. I want to get this thing off of here, and then I want to show you what I'm, what I'm getting ready to do. You ever tried to weld pure rust before? Don't work too good. here it is this is what's going on the green truck to deliver firewood with this is a pickup uh insert dump ins or a pickup dump insert it's designed to go in a pickup bed and uh it'll turn your truck pickup into a dump truck basically but i'm going to mount it on a flatbed so i'm doing something a little different but still it's uh it should work out about the same uh i talked to, the, to them and they said that you know they've heard people doing that so it shouldn't be no big deal to mount it on the flatbed and turn my truck into a dump truck and i don't have to pull the trailer anymore and the trailer is not really legal to pull on the road anyway so that's the the biggest thing i'm trying to get away from is being illegal all the time so i'm going to hook this thing up to the forklift and set it on the back of the truck now that i got the uh hay end roller off but anyway there it is brand new truck craft magnum dump insert all right so i've got it mounted down now it's just two mountain bolts it's two 5 8 bolts one there and 
one back there in the back and uh i've got the, the i've got the wiring done it's got a quick disconnect right here so you can unhook it and take it off the truck and leave the wiring harness on the truck that's an an option and it's not a standard thing but uh so all this is ready to go except for i don't have the control running the cab yet i gotta unhook the wires from the pump unit and i gotta uh run it into the cab so uh that's about all i like doing other than i gotta put sideboards on it i gotta put two two by sixes stacked on top of each other for sideboards and i got a headboard and it's in the box it's in the box on the back here i gotta do that that's another wiring harness right there and what that's for is this thing is going to be put on the red ford 73 truck and that's and i'm going to start using it to deliver wood with primarily when i once i get the engine fixed i'm going to start using it to deliver wood that way the truck has uh uh, gets used regularly and Jeez at the music out there But anyway That way the uh, truck gets used regularly and run regularly and uh, I can probably use it for other things too like Loading dirt on it if I need to at times and you know, it can't haul, haul a, a tremendous amount. It will dump 6,200 pounds. So that's uh, 200 pounds more than three tons. So that's uh not too bad really uh a load of wood i figure weighs about three thousand pounds so it'll be about half the the lift capacity of this thing it'll be as much as this truck wants uh but i don't feel like it'll be no more than two round bells of hay i mean well it'll be a little bit more but not a whole lot more so uh but i i think this is going to work out i you know, I hope I'm making the right decision by hauling it on the back of the truck now. And it may be a whole lot easier to maneuver with. And and if something happens to the Ford truck, I can put it back on this truck. Or if I decide I like it better on this truck, I'll just keep running it on this truck. So uh, we'll just we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. So uh, I guess that'll be all for right now. But uh, look forward to some videos of this thing being used in the future. So we'll see y'all later. Well, it's about 8.30 at night, but I got it done. I got the sideboards and everything done. Wires and the wire for the, the wire for the, uh, to run the bed up and downs in the truck. The sideboards, the double sideboards are done. It's supposed to make it equivalent to my dump trailer, putting those sideboards on. And, uh, I'm getting ready to actually go deliver a load of wood that I have to, supposed to deliver today. And I told him I'll be there by nine o'clock. So I gotta get loaded up and get it on the way. Oh, and as far as the uh, diamond mower goes, the sidearm mower, I will continue uh, making that video or continue working on it when I have time. This became priority when it got here, this dump bed because I have some wood to deliver and that the uh, sidearm mower is just something to kind of fill time in. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back on that before too long. All right, see y'all later.